Hi, in this video we're going to discuss the 3.1.0 update of Food Tiger, Cure Menu Maker, WhatsApp Food and Lion Plus. And yeah, let's go, let's start and go one by one. So one of the most significant change that you will notice is the phone number input. So when I go to to register or or any other place where I have a phone number, you will see this pop-up of country flux with together with the uh, call uh, the country code for the phone, and this by default is automatically selected depending on the IP address of the client at a given moment. Uh, and as I said, this is in all the projects in all the places. So even if I go to register or when I go to I will log in as an admin and I'll go to some restaurant you will see that everywhere where we had a phone number it will put the for example this was a Macedonian number and added the the country code and this is an invalid number and that's why you don't see the country flag so by default, if it's valid number, we'll use the, the country code for that phone number. Okay, I think this one is clear. Next, what we did is that we made some changes in the apps screen. And you may not see a big difference, but it's a big difference regarding how it works. For example, for the free modules, you don't need to call the pay method or to enter your card you will be able to download them directly then uh, what else for example we have a new buttons like demo docs and video so if there is a video for that plugin so i think in general will be a lot better in order to make it more stable and more easy to update for us. We added three three new modules. Well, two of them are free. For Dtrack is the paid one. It's nineteen dollars. Then WhatsApp status is zero dollars. And for Food Tiger we have uh, OTP validation, which is also free. So let's go one by one. I will uh, explain you the the whatsapp status so if i go to the restaurants and i will log in as a single restaurant there login as and as soon as i'm logged in in app section here you can see that i'm able to put the templates so let's say status template Hi client, your order is on the way. Hi client, your order is rejected due to XXX. Okay, and when I go to some order, that really has a phone number in there. So for this order, I don't have the, the number, the phone number of the order of the client. But in this case, I will do a, a new order. And what I want to show you here is that you remember you have in the URL this text. You can now remove it and it will work like that also. So let's make a new order. But before doing that, I will also want you to explain the, the DTRAC module. So DTRAC is a service that does a um, delivery, manage the deliveries of the, of the orders. Please look at their site, you see their pricing, you have a free user. So this should be entered by, your, by the vendors, by the clients. I'm already logged in, I did some tests, work. Well, it works okay I cannot say it's the perfect one but 
yeah you can see how it works and if it meets your eye this come to the fact that a lot of you requested that the vendors that the restaurants will should be able to manage their own drivers so this is the way to do that here they can add vehicles and manage their jobs so as soon as there is a new job or delivery order it will appear here so what i need to do is get the api key copy that api key and enter it inside the restaurant and then in the truck the truck enable the truck when ordering okay i want that I'll click save okay and now when I have a new order when I do a new order I should also receive that order inside the truck I will set delivery okay for, I will select the time because this is also important will be displayed there and if you enter a valid address the the track api will convert into real api so let me try to do that okay let's see if that will work my name here i do miss the phone number but we will add it okay and yeah let's do the order we don't have a coupon okay the order is already there i will do this back and if i go to orders i should see the order right now yep and here you will see the the phone number the client phone number and i'm able to select some template your order is on the way and i'm able to manage edit this text and directly send it to whatsapp and this will open once again the the whatsapp window and if it's on mobile if you do it on mobile it will open the mobile app of whatsapp so this is a handy module you can every vendor can set up their own uh, text their own templates and yeah let's see how it works in 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 the truck why we don't need to do that probably because we need to approve it first yep except the restaurants need to approve that and after it's approved it should go to the truck let's see if that's the case yep the order is here so yeah please take a look at how the truck works there are email templates the client will be notified when the driver has picked up the the job I have seen this in a local delivery company here and I did like it so I decided to implement because yeah it does a good job and it's not that expensive so don't know if the map is founded correctly open to marketplace is uh, if it's open to marketplace each of your drivers can uh, select their order and this is also something that we have in the in the configuration so here you saw open to open to market if it's not open to market the vendor the owner should uh, manually select which driver should do the delivery and you can track the the order at any time so yeah i think in general it's a great addition to the system yep and it found the location correctly that's correct okay and yeah there are even more details i think like what items and this is all viewable in the mobile app the payment method is cash on delivery yep. 
price and things like yeah this, these are the items I don't know why it doesn't show up here but yeah in general maybe we should do an update but if there is a problem we will solve that and yeah with this we explain the DTRAC module and also the the module for the submit info which submits the status now let's talk about the OTP module which is over the phone validation and this is a module for uh, Foot Tiger so give me a second to switch to Foot Tiger okay now I'm in Foot Tiger I'm logged in as a demo owner and what I want to show you is the OTP module so I need to log in as an admin I will log in as an admin and there this is a system wide setup site settings then in apps and plugins you should see OTP verification, enable OTP verification before making orders, trial details should be present ok and when this is enabled we also need to have trial settings yep we need this and this and this to be filled out so the system should can send SMS to the client when this is enabled when the client goes to checkout screen before going to the checkout screen if he hasn't validated his phone number yet he will be redirected to a site to enter the code that he has received on his mobile phone after he has verified his phone that's remembered in the database and the client will not not need to do the step once again let's talk about the other ones okay if i now go to to as an owner here in rest in orders i can filter by payment less status and payment status so these are the two additional ones uh, this happens in LAN post where staff can see live orders before with the staff uh, the staff members were didn't have the option to to see the the live orders so that's now added let's do that I will log in from here and the live orders should be there I should go to orders sorry but even so you see the life orders from here okay that's done we have made improvements to the elegant team that we will release as an update uh, there was a bug that in QR delivery the phone was missing in land post owner will now see also the post interface we will release this as an update there was a bug when in registering in Food Tiger when recapture was there, so now that's fixed. And a Stripe subscription was missing the cancel button. So for new subscriptions, um, the the button will be there. And for ones that are not there, so send us a ticket and we will let you know how you can do that. How to enable the cancel button for your existing. Uh, subscriptions so yeah this in general regarding the update 3.1.0 we released also a new update 3.1.1 which fixes some problems in finances and uh, phone number missing flex so yeah please update to that one and in general I think with this update you get more features more two new free modules and we are working on new few new modules that are really great uh, to the ecosystem of of this platform
thanks for watching this video and yeah whatever you have problems with feel free to send us tickets in general we answer to all tickets daily bye bye